안녕하세요 여러분 Talk to me in Korean의 선현우입니다 Hi guys, I'm Hyunwoo from talktomeinkorean.com and welcome to another episode of Describe This Picture And the picture that we're describing today in Korean is a picture of Gyeonghwa <laughs> You can see the picture behind me. And Kyunghwa is holding an umbrella and there seems to be some kind of wind, a gulp of wind that is blowing off Kyunghwa's hair. And she's just happy to be outside, <laughs> I guess. So here are five example sentences that I've picked using this picture. The first sentence is, 경화 씨는 오른손에 분홍색 우산을 들고 있어요. 두 번째는, 오른팔로 몸을 지탱하고 있고, 왼발은 뒤로 들고 있어요. The third sentence, 경화 씨는 회색 운동화를 신고 있고, 회색 자켓을 입고 있어요. The fourth one is, 바람 때문인지 경화 씨 머리카락이 날리고 있어요. And lastly, 경화 씨가 우산을 들고 있기는 하지만, 지금 비나 눈이 오는 것 같지는 않아요. And now, before you can understand all of these five sample sentences, there are some words that you need to know. The first word is, 오른손. Your right hand is 오른손. Of course, the left hand is 왼손. And 분홍색 is the second word. 분홍색, pink color. 우산 is umbrella. 오른발 is right foot. 오른발. And then 지탱하다. 지탱하다 means to support or to sustain, to prop up something physically. And then 왼발 is left foot. And the next word is 들다. 들다 means to lift something or to hold something up. And in this photo, Kyunghwa is holding an umbrella and also she's holding her foot up in the air behind her. The next word is 회색. 회색 is gray color. And 운동화 is the word that follows running shoes or tennis shoes. 운동화. 운동 means exercise, working out. 화 in this case means shoes. So 운동화 is exercise shoes, working out shoes, running shoes. And shinta is the verb that you use to talk about wearing shoes. So wearing can be many different things in Korean as you probably know. Shinta is for shoes. And ipta is for clothes. When you wear clothes or put on clothes, you say ipta. Ipta to wear clothes. Param is wind. Param. And morikarak is hair. People sometimes say just mori to refer to hair. And lastly, we have nalida to be blown off, usually by wind. So these are the words. Now let's look at the sentences once again. The first one, 경화 씨는 오른손에 분홍색 우산을 들고 있어요. So 경화 씨 is the name of this person, of course. You know 경화. And 오른손 is your right hand. 분홍색 우산을 들고 있어요. The key expression or the key structure here is 우산을 들다. 우산 is umbrella. 을 들다. But then she is holding it right now. She didn't put it down yet. So 우산을 들고 있다. Present progressive. And where? In her right hand. 오른손에 우산을 들고 있다. If you get this part, the whole sentence is really easy to understand. 경화 씨는 오른손에 분홍색 우산. Not just any umbrella, pink umbrella. 분홍색 우산을 들고 있어요. She is holding a pink umbrella in her right hand. The next sentence. 오른팔로 몸을 지탱하고 있고 왼발은 뒤로 들고 있어요. 오른발로 means with her right foot, 몸을, her body as an object in this case, 지탱하고 있고, she is supporting her body with her right foot because she's standing on her right foot only. It goes 고 means and, and then 왼발은, as for the left foot, because we just talked about the 오른발, now we're talking about 왼발, and it shows some kind of contrast, so you're using 왼발은, 왼발은 뒤로, behind, behind her back, 들고 있어요. So she's holding, she's lifting her left foot behind her. So she's supporting her body with her right foot and is holding up her left foot behind. The third sentence, 경화 씨는 회색 운동화를 신고 있고, 회색 자켓을 입고 있어요. This sentence also has two parts that are linked with 고. She's doing this and she's doing that too. So 경화 씨는 회색 운동화, gray running shoes, and 신고 입고, 신다 is to wear, Sometimes to put on, but in this case, she is wearing 신고 있어요. 그리고 신고 있어요. 그리고 together 신고 입고 회색 자켓을 입고 있어요. In this case, um, 입고 있어요 or 신고 있어요, without context, you could think that it's, you know, she's putting things on. She's putting on her shoes. She's putting on her jacket. But in this case, you have context clues. She's not putting them on. She's already wearing them. So you have to pay attention to the context. And then the fourth sentence is 바람 때문인지 경화 씨 머리카락이 날리고 있어요. 
바람 때문이다 is to be because of wind. But in this case, 인지 is used. 인지 refers to perhaps because. What is omitted here is 인지 모르지만, 인지 모르겠지만, stuff like that. So 바람 때문인지 means perhaps because of the wind. You're not totally sure. So 바람 때문인지 경화 씨 머리카락이 날리고 있어요. The key expression to know here is 날다. 날다 means to fly. Everybody wants to be able to fly. 날고 싶어요. At least as a child. But 날다 becomes 날리다 here. 날리다 can work in two ways. One is passive, the other is causative. And in this case, the hair, Kyungwa's hair, is not making any other thing fly away. It is being flown away. It is being blown off by some wind. So perhaps because of the wind, Kyungwa's hair is being blown off. 날리고 있어요. And lastly, we have 경화 씨가 우산을 들고 있기는 하지만 지금 비나 눈이 오는 것 같지는 않아요. 경화 씨 is of course being repeated and 우산을 들고 있다. You saw it earlier. She is holding an umbrella. She is in the middle of holding an umbrella. But 우산을 들고 있지만 she is holding it. But but in this case, what is actually used is not 들고 있지만, but it is 들고 있기는 하지만. 있기는 하지만 emphasizes the meaning that you are okay. I'll give it to you. She's doing that, but. So in that kind of nuance. 들고 있기는 하지만. Yes, she is holding an umbrella, but there's a catch. She is not holding an umbrella because it's raining or snowing. So that's the meaning. Um, so you would be emphasizing is in this case. So Kyungwa is holding an umbrella, but it doesn't seem like it's either raining or snowing. 비나 눈이 오는 것 같지는 않아요. So, 경화 씨가 우산을 들고 있기는 하지만, 있지만, the same meaning, but just a little more emphasis, 지금 비나 눈이 오는 것 같지는 않아요. So, we just finished looking at five example sentences that you can use to describe this picture behind me. What kind of sentences would you use to describe this picture? Thanks for studying with Talk To Me In Korean, and if you want more Korean lessons, please visit talktomeinkorean.com, and we'll see you next time.